Hey, this is Brian at GP Rod and Customs, and welcome to today's episode of Teach It Tuesday. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to build a little mock-up console. You can also turn it into a sub-enclosure if you wanted to, but the basic technique we're learning today is how to kerf MDF to give you a nice, smooth transition. That way you're not building square boxes and square consoles. You can have some shape to it. All right, so as you can see, we're going to start off today. I already got this kind of mocked up. It's like a, like a small console or something. You could actually build something bigger and make it a sub enclosure if you wanted to. But basically, we're going to take this flat piece of wood. Can't bend it now, but we're going to make it to where it'll fit this shape right here. The technique is called kerfing. And it's a little bit of a process, but basically what we're going to do is we're gonna run it through the table saw, like so, with the blade almost all the way to the top of the edge of the wood. You're gonna leave 330 seconds of wood there, maybe. So, and this will allow the wood, you do that all the way across, and this will allow the wood to, to bend, be real flexible. So I'm gonna start off at a half inch and work my way all the way out to the very end of this piece of wood. It is a little bit of a process and it will take a few minutes to do. All right, so each one's spaced out about a half of an inch. Uh, that's what the spacing I like to work with. They think it's gonna work best like that. But as you can see, it's completely visible now. So now we can actually use this for the top of our mocked up console here. And the way I'm gonna put it on is I'm gonna put the flat surface down so I can actually glue it. And that way it, it'll be permanent. And then after I get it put on there, I'll come in and fill this in with Bondo and smooth it out. And I got a little extra, I'll just cut it off at the end. I like to go with a little extra because you never know with the curves what your measurement is going to be. It's hard to take an exact measurement on a curve like that. Good? Good. Alright, so before I put this on to our console, I'm going to use this template and we'll make a hole for a cup holder. Every console's going to have a cup holder, right? you got to put your drink in it. So the way I'm going to glue this is I'm actually going to use super glue. 
instead of using wood glue and nails. For one, there's only half inch spacing here. I don't want to take the chance of uh, splintering any of this wood out and causing more damage to it. Uh, super glue works just as well. I use super glue on a lot of my consoles. I got in, almost entire consoles that are put together with super glue. Super glue is amazingly strong. it a few times and it should just break right off so let's give that a try see how it works out like a champ and I can just sand the rest off with a sander so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna clean up these edges I'm gonna take my DA put some 36 grit on it I'm gonna clean up these edges both edges, smooth them out real nice, get all the glue off, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna throw Bondo in all this and smooth it out. Real quick process because I'm gonna use the cheese grater. That's pretty much it. Didn't take too long. So the longest part's probably actually curving the wood. So the reason I put the smooth surface down is to have a good good surface to bond to with the super glue. And it gives me the curve on the outside that I can put bondo into to add strength. That way it doesn't flex. So if you are building a sub enclosure and happen to do curved pieces like this, of course you're gonna want to use the thicker wood, but the bondo will actually help provide the support that you lose when you curve it. So maybe in the next couple episodes, I'll show you how to trim it out and to wrap it. But until then, I hope that you learned something from, the, from this technique. I know I like to use it quite often. So if you like what you saw, subscribe, hit the like button, turn on your notifications. Until then, share the knowledge.